definitely toasty warm down here. Just <laughs> kidding, guys. The weather is definitely a factor. When I talked to Cornell coach Jenny Graff before the game, she joked with me and said, we practice outside in Ithaca. This weather is nothing. Our team is so ready for this game. As for the threat that Yale poses to them, they are so dominant on the draw, so containing them and trying to get those draw control wins for Cornell will be big. Semifinal Thursday has arrived in the Northeast Conference's top seed Bryant takes on fourth seeded LIU at Bern Stadium. What an exciting weekend of women's lacrosse we have for you here on NEC Front Row and ESPN3. Welcome into the broadcast. I'm Natalie Calvat. It's a picture perfect day here at Burns Stadium. Bryant securing the regular season title, so they have home turf this whole weekend. And of course, Coach of the Year, Brianna Roche, has a handful of weapons on the field today, including the NEC Offensive Player of the Year, Kenna Kaut. She'll be facing off with the goalie of the year in the conference, Haley Dutchnowski. Princeton starting off fast. That's exactly what head coach Chris Saylor preached to her team before they came out on the field. The Tigers taking the first nine shots of the game. Got to ask you about that last goal. It was like a slide behind the back over the shoulder. I don't even know if our bodies can move that way. That's got to be a Sports Center top 10 play right there. How did you do that? Take us through it. I think it was a lot of luck, some slippery turf. You know, it was really like the only thing I had left at my disposal. She said even though Princeton took down Harvard not too long ago, she's not taking this team lightly. They're very multidimensional on offense. They've got a good zone. They'll pack the pressure on from behind. They've got to find ways to create opportunities. Chris Saylor has been incredible leading the Tigers as she retires. What are your takeaways from watching her as a coach and a legend? She's absolutely a legend and um, she's done so much for the game. Mount St. Mary's the defending champion facing Wagner who has some momentum after handing Bryant their first conference loss just last weekend. Let's take a look at some of the key players to watch and starting with the defending champion Mount St. Mary's Zoe Hurlbert. She reached 100 career goals in the Mountaineers regular season finale against CCSU. She was named first team all NEC after a 48 goal season. As for Wagner, Casey Dorney leads the team with 33 goals and 40 points. She was shut out by the Mountaineers in the regular season. Today will be a full circle moment for Fairfield coach Laura Field. She actually played for Princeton's retiring coach Chris Saylor back in 2000. She was the goaltender on that national championship team. As for what Coach Field has done for Fairfield, not bad. This is the team's fourth NCAA bid as her in her leadership role. And she also was teammates with our very own Krista Samaras. Krista, did you notice this knack for coaching that Laura Field had when you guys were teammates? Oh yeah, she was an absolute motivator. She was there to support you always, and that's exactly how she does it with her team. Bryant and Mount St. Mary shared the Northeast Conference regular season title, and this afternoon they meet at Burns Stadium with an NEC crown and an NCAA bid on the line. Welcome into the broadcast here on ESPN3 and NEC Front Row. I'm Natalie Calbat. Excited to be joined by Joe Fortunato, and it should be a great one out there this afternoon. Joe, what are you anticipating? Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Both of these teams had great seasons. I'd like to talk about Grace Talkis, her production. What's made her so successful the last few weeks? Well, she's just a tough kid, and she understands and zones how to get into the seam. She's a great dodger. Guys, and talking to both coaches, Yale coach Erica Bamford and Princeton coach Chris Saylor, both said the draws are going to be the name of the game today. Chris Saylor telling me they got to win those 50-50 balls. As for the Yale coach, Erica Bamford, she said she does have a lot of confidence in Skylar Carasquillo and what she can do. Both teams will be playing really hard for that championship this afternoon. On Sunday, you guys have the opportunity to win the Ivy League championship in Chris Saylor's final game in conference. What is that like? You know, it's, uh, it's a little bit of pressure. It's a lot of excitement. We're just we're really happy to be doing this for her. Megan, only six players in Syracuse lacrosse history have over 300 points. You are one of them. How are you able to get that done? Yeah, you know, my teammates, they've really been opening up opportunities for me this season. What will be your message to the team in the locker room? Keep it up. I mean, the, the things we're doing are, are working. We can't take our foot off the gas pedal. Olivia, congratulations on an incredible win. You're playing for an Ivy League championship on Sunday. How does this feel? It feels incredible. I mean, we've 
never been to this point yet with our Yale team. So I mean, I mean I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it really feels historic, honestly, because um, I'm just really excited. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm really excited to be there. I really want to win, obviously, and make history because we've never been 6-0 before. Um, so yeah, just getting there, prepping tomorrow. We are in finals, but this is important too. So yes. Total team effort. What worked so well for this team today? We have an extremely strong freshman class, but along with that, we do have upperclassmen as well who did stay, but the freshmen have really stepped up. Like there's this, this learning curve you get as a freshman where you can mess up, but they came in and there were 17 of them, so they couldn't mess up as much. And they really adjusted with that well. And so like they have made it us into a full team. Like every single player on the team you can trust, every single player can compete. And um, that's what, that's why the score is what it is. I mean, if you look at the score sheet, I'm sure it's so balanced because there's so many threats on offense. On defense, everybody plays solid D. Um, everyone's there for each other with slides and everything. I don't know defense as well. I play attack, so I got booted a while ago from uh, um, defense, so. How special is it to get a win like this with, all, with this group of seniors? It's, I can't put words to it, to be honest with you. I mean, when I took the year off, when we all took the year off, I didn't know if I was going to play again. I didn't know if this was going to happen. I mean, we were just happy if we got two Ivy wins because that would probably be more than we've gotten years past. Um, but being here right now is incredible. I never thought that I'd be playing in May. So I'm really excited. Oh, I'll make the most of it. <laughs> Should I ask you that question your teammates were chanting about? The, the research lab? Let's go. You're, you're excelling in the classroom as well, Olivia. Will, a really well-rounded student athlete. Um, yeah, I, I do do the research. I mess up a lot, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be better at it, though. So. Maybe in a year, you can ask me again, and I'll say, yeah, I'm killing it. But right now, um, I'm definitely an amateur, um, but we'll get there. <laughs> I'm going to take you up on that. I will ask you that in a year. <laughs> thank you. Olivia, thank you for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you.